Hi everyone, I'm back and we're going to do some new videos about the Cricut machine. So I'm hoping to get a few different videos up and running and just go through, you know, the process of how to use your Cricut, how to use the Cricut Joy and so on and so on. We're going to be doing some projects as well. So I hope you'll join me for those. Um, yeah. So first of all, today we're going to start with the flatten. So here we go. So first of all, we're going to uh, get a square shape in Cricut Design Space and we're going to make it slightly larger for the time being. Then we're going to go down to images and we're going to pick out an image that we want. I'm going to pick this Union Jack and we're going to pop that into Cricut Design Space. Make that slightly larger too. So now they're both together, all right? I'm going to select them both. I'm just going to drag them up here to the corner and select them both. I'm going to flatten, which will then put them both together, okay? Then we're going to go over to um, make it, all right? And there we have our um, project. So basically it will cut around the grey box there and you will have your whole picture as one so it won't cut them separately. So I'm going back now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the colour of the box, make it more appealing. I'm going to put it as blue uh, and then once I've done that I am going to apply that. Then I'm going to pop the Union Jack on top again and then I'm going to select them all again and flatten yet again. All right, so that's that flattened. Go to make it and when I click on make it, it should go in as all one piece. There we go. And then you can just print that off. All right, and it will just cut around the blue square. Then you've got your picture. So anytime you want to create something like this, have your own design as a poster, say, for instance, and you put any elements in, just flatten them and it will cut around the outer edge. So now I'm going to try and make them into individuals. OK, so I'm going to just make them smaller because uh, you can only do such a size when you're print and cutting. OK, and I'm going to duplicate them, put them all together and then duplicate them again and again and so on. And then what it can what it will potentially do is when you go to print and then cut, it will cut around each separate square. OK, but we're still going to select them all and we're going to flatten. All right. So then when you go to print and cut, it will go around each single one that you've done. All right. So this is good for things like stickers and stuff like that. Uh, and when you want multiples of things. OK. So that's a basic idea of how to use a flatten, all right? So it's ideal for stickers. Uh, so you could, like I say, design your own stickers, flatten them, and then it will cut them out on a sheet, uh, you know, either individually or it will cut them out as a whole, depending on how many you've got. All right, so there we go again. Um, now let's have a look at Creative Fabrica. I have a um, link down in the description. So if you scroll down on the description of my video, you will see there's a link to Creative Fabrica. Okay, and you can get it as a special discount of one dollar for the first month, and then you'll get so much money off. Um, I can't remember the percentage, but it works out at under twenty dollars. Okay, a month which is pretty good. And you can have, you know, you're, you're free then to choose anything you want on Creative Fabrica. There's loads of projects, all sorts of projects, okay? Um, and it's ideal for doing things like this in Cricut Design Space, because like I've just showed you, I've picked out a poster, okay? I've downloaded it. I'm gonna pick an individual one out. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it as a poster for, I don't know, I could hang it in my room, whatever okay also i've got these lovely little ladybirds here which i picked out and i'm going to download those and then we're going to see what they are like for making stickers so you could you know potentially make your own sticker packs um but i'm going to pop those then into cricut design space so if you haven't got cricut access and you want to get 
a lot of images you could go to creative fabrica it's a dollar a month for the first month and then i think it's about like i said it's under 20 dollars for the, every other month but there's so much on there um so here we have the ladybird so i'm going to pick a ladybird uh there we go so i'm going to use it as a print and cut then i am going to go across to i'm going to name it it will ask you to name it you can name it print then cut and then it will take it into Cricut Design Space. Right, and then I'm gonna just make it a bit smaller. I am gonna just make that smaller because it's too big for the mat. And then I'm gonna get a, uh, there you go, look. So if I wanted to do it like that, it will print and then cut all the way around that, okay? But I wanna put a heart behind it. So let's get a heart. And I'm going to choose it. I'm going to make it blue as well so that it's a little bit more appealing. So we'll change the colour to blue and then pop the butterfly on top of. So we'll have to bring the butterfly. Then we'll have to bring the butterfly to the front. OK, and send the heart to the back. So there we go. Select them all and then we're going to flatten them. OK, I'm going to make them a bit smaller. I'm going to bring them over. Now, if I was to just, you know, send it to the Cricut machine now, okay, I'll show you what it will do. Okay, so there we go. And it will cut around the heart. So you've got, you could either put that on as a big sticker or a big picture, okay? Now, if I unflatten those and then send it to the, um, or the mat, that's what happens. So we need to flatten it for it to be able to do this. Otherwise, it's just going to look ridiculous. So we'll go back and we will flatten it. Um, now, I could make a load of individual stickers. So I could make this one smaller. And then, there we go, back again. So we've got it back now flattened. All right. So then it will cut around the heart, like I said. Okay, now you can put some wording in there as well and then flatten it all together, pop it on a larger heart and then it will cut just around the heart again. And now I'm going to make them into some small stickers. So I will duplicate it a couple of times. Then I will select all of those and then duplicate it in one and then bring all down underneath. Now we've sent them to the mat. So now they're going to be sent to the printer. So send a printer, okay? Um, and now we're going to print those off. Get those printed. Now my printer is terrible at the minute. It, it needs sorting out because it's not printing too good at the minute. Um, so now we're going to pop it on our mat and we're going to send it, we're going to pop it through the Cricut machine. Now it's going to start reading the lines, okay? So it will go around the black outer edge, okay? It's cut, it's detecting the cut sensor marks, all right? So this is what it does, first of all. So it will basically just do its little thing and it's looking at all the different um, cut sensor marks, which is that square box around, okay? And then it can judge, it knows exactly where to cut them. Now it's going to cut. And as you can see, it's cutting around each individual heart. Now, if we didn't flatten it, like I said before, it would, <laughs> it wouldn't, it wouldn't be doing this. All right. So, this is how you get your sticker sheets. Um, or, like I said before, you can print and cut your own posters, and so on. And there we go. That's just basically what you would use the flatten for. There are other things that I could go into, but I will go into those at a later date. Um, my, my printer needs sorting out at the minute, so please excuse the terrible printing. But, so, and it's a slightly off as well. Um, I think I need to calibrate my, um, my Cricut. Uh, so, if you want to cut deeper, so say if you want indi individual stickers, then all you've got to do is play around with the cut on the um, Cricut design space before you go to cut. Uh, so you could potentially you could put it on cut cardboard or something like that and then it would cut a thicker cut. Um, 
and then you can have individual stickers and you just take them out and then you know or if you want just a sticker sheet i mean you can do it so that it does a cut around here as well um but you could just potentially just cut that with a pair of scissors and then you've got a sheet of stickers that is what you use the flatten for so and also if you want to say print your own prints off and pop them into frames or something like that um like i showed you before with creative fabrica creative fabrica whatever you want to call it um you can you know print off your own prints and then cut them you know with the cricket if you want to um or if you don't really want to use the Cricut, you can just use the print and cut anyway. You can just pop it into your Cricut design space, see how it looks, and then mess around with your design. So for instance, like I showed you before, uh, well, same applies to this. So we want, we put a blue heart in the background and then we put the little ladybird on top of it. So if you wanna design your own sort of um, poster, for instance, you can design it in Cricut design space, flatten it so that it's all one piece and then you can just cut it out yourself or you can pop it into your machine and it will cut the outer edge of what you've done so to speak i hope that makes sense so i hope you found this video helpful uh, and it give you a little bit of an idea as to how to use the flatten all right and i'm gonna go and i will see you in the next video don't forget to like share and subscribe and hopefully we can build the channel together bye